Uh, Dan, why have we got so much rubbish weather at the moment? Look lovely on the coast, isn't it? It's because it's half term. Oh, of That's course. why. Go of on. course. Half term bank holiday, you know it's going <laughs> to rain. Uh, although, admittedly, it isn't half term everywhere, I know, so next week is half term for some people. But yeah, some pretty wet and windy weather on the way uh, this week. Today, of course, it was pretty wet, as you saw there. Uh, this weather front gave us the rain today. It's cleared, so we've got a bit of a dry interlude at the moment. But uh, this warm front coming in from the west, that'll give us some rain tonight. But actually behind it, as the name suggests, some pretty warm air wafting its way towards us to give us some pretty high temperatures, I think, for the time of the year for uh, tomorrow. On the radar, you can see the rain today clearing away to the southeast. Some pretty heavy bursts in there, though, as it came through. And many of us now dry for a time this evening. A few clear intervals out there. Uh, but as we go through the evening and night, the cloud will thicken and rain will start to spread its way eastwards again. Fairly light and patchy for the most part and in clearing towards the end of the night. Now, as it is a warm front, the lowest temperatures tonight will actually be in the next few hours, getting down to five or six degrees out there this evening. Because as we go through the night and the warmer air comes in, the winds pick up, those temperatures will rise. And by the morning, we'll be up to 10, 11, even 12 degrees. So a very mild start to the day tomorrow. No frost worries tonight. Uh, otherwise, though, Wednesday is looking like a mostly dry day. There'll be some sunny spells around. Areas of cloud just coming in from the west through the day, and that could carry a few bits and pieces of light rain into the afternoon, a few squally showers towards evening. Increasingly windy, though, but temperature-wise, 15 or 16 degrees in the best of any sunshine, 61 in Fahrenheit, well above average for the time of the year. But as I say, those winds continuing to pick up, and actually through the evening tomorrow, we could see gusts of 50 to 60 miles an hour, and with that, some pretty squally showers rattling their way through with some pretty lively gusts of wind uh, around those through the evening and night as well. And that comes courtesy of our first storm this week, this area of low pressure, Storm Dudley. The low staying to the north, but you can see the isobars here, so really strong winds are expected through Wednesday night into early Thursday, but gradually easing as we go through the day on Thursday. Now, if we take a look at the bigger picture on Thursday, this is the position of our jet stream. The brighter the colours, the stronger the winds high up in the atmosphere. And actually, six, seven miles above ground, it'll be blowing 200 miles an hour on Thursday. Now, there are two areas of the jet stream that can spin up areas of low pressure. One of them is down here. This is the right entrance region. And you'll see on Thursday this area of low pressure developing, spinning up, moving across the jet stream to the cold side, and then moving into the other area, the left exit region, that can also help deepen these lows. And this low will be dropping pressure-wise over 40 millibars in 24 hours. So it's what we call a weather bomb or explosive cyclogenesis. So here's the low on Friday. Now the exact track and position is still a bit uncertain. You can see the isobars on the southern flank really tightly packed. If the low comes further south, uh, then the winds, the strongest winds, could shift a bit further south with that. So we'll keep a, a very close eye on that for you over the next few days. But we do have some Met Office warnings out. Wednesday evening, gusts 50 to 60, but with storm units on Friday, we could see some stronger gusts, potentially as high as 80 miles an hour. Lee. 200 miles per hour mm. as well, the highest. I'll cancel my blow dry tomorrow then. <laughs> a reminder of the top national story, and Prince Andrew has settled out of a court case with the woman accused him in a civil case of sexual assault. He'd always denied the allegations, and there's no admission of guilt in the settlement, but he accepts she has suffered as a victim of abuse. Well, that's it from me. I'll be back at half past ten with your late news. For now, have a lovely evening. Bye-bye.